If you've got a neurological problem, there's a really good chance that your sleep sucks. You might have a hard time falling asleep. You might have a hard time staying asleep. You might find that you don't want to go to bed until three in the morning and then you wake up at one in the afternoon. None of these things are very useful. But one thing that is very, very common is that people will experience sleep apnea. And sleep apnea we tend to divide up into two forms and it's important because, well, if you've had a brain injury, you'll know why matters because we have obstructive sleep apnea where the different structures in our throat actually occlude the trachea and cause us to have a hard time sleeping. You'll notice this because a lot of times you wake up with a dry mouth in the morning. A good tell is whether or not you snore, if you wake up with a headache, you wake up feeling like you're not rested. These are all signs. But the other one is we can have a central sleep apnea. So most of the time we know there's like a rhythm to your breathing that you don't really have to think about most of the time, right? But when we're sleeping, sometimes we can get changes in that rhythm where it just kind of fades out. And that's really important because we solve it in a much different way. We wanna do things that stimulate the apneustic centers, the breathing centers, the central respiratory generators in the brainstem to make sure that we keep that loop running very well. A lot of times we'll notice that people that have central sleep apneas will have changes in the elevation of their palate. Like they say, ah, and it doesn't raise the right way or it might only raise on one side. We might see that they have changes in their facial tone where they get a little droopiness on one side or when they get tired they start to slur their speech even that they might choke on their own saliva pretty easily or when they're eating they choke and have to cough quite a bit so all these are nice little indicators for people that may have a central sleep apnea that we want to try to see if there's a way to stimulate that brain stem so we can get some of those functions better and we're not falling out of that nice respiratory rhythm while you're trying to sleep so hope that helps